It's a deep running back group for Utah. Makai Bernard gets the start and gets the first carry and has a nice. Yeah, it's not like they'll never do that with Utah, but they do mix it up. Andy Ludwig has a very varied playbook. The offensive coordinator for the Utes. Brewers got all time, all kinds of time to throw sideline. Second and ten. Bernard back in the backfield alongside Brewer. And that is a hit in the back. Experience anything like this road crowd noise. Blitz comes. There's that pressure and an interception. What he needs to do tonight with that tough defense he's facing. They just moved two of them on first down from inside the five. And a nice straight in those numbers for Dalton Kincaid. One of those tight ends Rod's talking about. They have some really talented ones that the Utes want to do on third down. From deep in their own territory after the excellent special teams execution. BYU. Offside, defense number 98 in the major zone causing the offense to cross by the five yard penalty results in the first down. Charlie Brewer threw an interception first time the Utes had the ball right immediately into the backfield, but Thomas too fast. He got around group. He thinks like it's it's really changed the Utah team. Second and short, Brewer throws short. That's a first down completion. Across Charlie Brewer under center. And that is a and they're out to the 40. Another play under center. Thomas, the ball came out. And it's plus who suffered a very scary, but ultimately not nearly as serious as it looked injury. More pressure and a great pass. Blitzing teams in that situation. And they're showing zone. That is a completion along the side. Back out of the backfield is a big part of the offense. Third and five. Just a three-man rush. They still got some pressure on it. I, I agree with that. Stoops has done a really nice job there. Keithy came in motion, Rod. He, he's the guy we haven't said his name yet. The tight ends have been well defended by BYU. I, where? Charlie Brewer after the completion and then the penalty yardage under center. He's going down. Chaz and brought him from the edge. This is a whole new approach for BYU. You see, he's coming free, and they can't pick him up in the bay. Take your time. Bend, but don't break. Yeah, for a long time, really. Hand off around the left corner. That's a nice gain and a first down. Much more Makai Bernard with his speed. Utah moving the ball the best they have all night. There's a tight end. Brant Keithy with the catch. Against a strong safety. Brewer kind of looking in his direction. There he is, and it's caught for a touchdown. It's here in Provo, Utah has the ball again, and Brewer kept it. That was some nifty ball handling on the move and threatening to go ahead in the second quarter. Straight ahead run. That is Tavion Top. Brewer under center. Thomas, left side, nice cut. Penalty flag thrown, though. In Holding offense, number 69. 10 yard penalty. Replay second down. On the right side, you'll see 69. Well, that's big call. Second and 15. Brewer, plenty of time. Throws short and a great break. Out of the timeout, third and 15. No blitz, just a three man rush across the middle, and that one. Brewer in the shotgun, Bernard alongside. They'll give it to Bernard, who gets hit and dropped. I don't think. Thank you, Alex. Long way to go in this game, and there have been some wild swings in this series of late. The hit on the quarter. Two Utah turnovers in that first half. Thomas straight ahead. Just the three man rush. So plenty of time. Brewer just trying to find somewhere to go with the ball. Dumps it off, complete the good. Oh. Came right back and made a good tackle there. Stopped Bernard short of that first down. And again, they didn't really stretch the defense there. I mean, everybody ran a short route. And Covey, who wrote Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. First down, Utah going backwards. Thomas gets pulled. Left side run. That looked like Makai Bernard. Third and six. Brewer 
Across the middle, wide open. There's one of those tight ends. That's Kincaid into BYU territory. Here transferred in and has really become quite a target. He's athletic, can get up, and with Keithy, he gives them that. Well, first and 15. Here comes some pressure. Brewer got rid of it quickly. That's Keithy, the other tight end. You can see how nifty he is. Man, you want. Bernard spins away, and that's a nice run from Makai Bernard. BYU's not going to get another chance until 2024. Play fake out of the timeout. Brewer in trouble. Throws it short, and then the big hit. This should be played every single year. How can you not like this for college football and college football in this state? Wow. And I think he just did. Barely. Downfield, and it is incomplete. In this place is getting even louder. Into the backfield, Bernard made a couple Cougars miss and breaks off a good run. Bernard across midfield. There goes Bernard inside the 30. What? Subtle move in the backfield to force a missed tackle because he looked like he was going to be stopped back there right away. Time but out then for an injured he got away. And look, now they're set up. Now they. I think like Jaron Hall's been BYU's best player over 100 yards rushing now another spin move to avoid the ball though as we start the fourth quarter Brewers going down in the rain these fans not going anywhere batted down and almost intercepted man gone way too soon Ty Jordan open somewhere that his youths can come from behind the year last year and you see they've had a hard time replacing him in the lineup tremendous man Brewer will throw incomplete Brewer off his back foot throws short to Covey at the, the Pac-12. Pledger in the backfield with Brewer who throws middle. It is caught and that should be under center Brewer handoff. That's Pledger who tried to bounce it outside. That probably wasn't a great decision. Got a couple yards. Move under 10 minutes to go. Handoff Bernard and again another great run. Bernard making people oh. miss. Oh, you can't oh, even care about the stats. I mean, he's just being an efficient quarterback. So it goes without saying, BYU defense on the field. Utah's got to get their second Pac-12 opponent. Brewer across the middle, and that pass is complete. Well, that'll be another first down. Two pretty impressive wins in the part of the season where some teams just pile up victories against teams that are overmatched. Be the ideal candidate in the middle. Brewer short out of bounds so the pass that's a drop and a drop fourth and two that one is high incomplete 